Hey y'all, it's Lana Moore here. I'm back with another video, and this week's video, judging from the title, is the truth about Arizona. So in this video, I'm basically gonna be telling you about my experience in Arizona so far with living out here. So I'm just gonna tell you overall kind of like a synopsis of like how my experience has been so far. It's been, so far I would say it's been okay. I'm good and okay in a sense. It's not, it hasn't been bad. I can't really say, oh, it's been grand and it, you know, cause it's like I haven't really, really experienced the whole state in a sense. Um, due to the pandemic, you know, we are like, like that they won't let me out you know so i was like um let me not get copyrighted you know because my voice is amazing <laughs> um so yeah you know we can't really do much but like really sit in the house and like or work from home and all that stuff so it's not much you can really do right now um yeah a little bit of places here and there open but like you know i'm not trying to go to it <laughs> So, basically, um, if you're not from Arizona, or if you've never lived out of state or another state, my friend Brittany gave me this idea for this video, so shout out to her. I'm gonna kinda give you some things you should know that I learned on my, with my experience living here so far. So, starting with the cost of living. So the cost of living in Arizona is fairly cheap depending on the area you live in. So a lot of people think, okay, you move out of state, it's gonna be cheap and blah, blah, blah. It depends on the area you live in. However, because um, if you watched my apartment tours, I'll be sure to leave them in the cards above, the difference is between California and Arizona because I do come from California. If you have, if you have not checked out any of my videos, previous videos, I'm originally from California and decided to move to Arizona. Um, the difference, major difference that I did notice off the back is when it comes to rent. Rent out in Arizona is taxed. In California, they don't tax rent. So whatever your rent is, you go to a place, it's $1,200, you're gonna pay $1,200 basically each month. Well, it's like Arizona, if you're gonna pay $1,200, you're gonna be, that's gonna be your base rent. Then you're gonna get taxed on your rent. I think it's like, I can't remember the percentage, but I know like when they calculate it, it was about like 35 bucks, I believe, added onto your rent. So you're gonna pay like 12, 30 or something. Like it's gonna be 12 something. It's not gonna be 1200 straight. It's gonna be 12, 1200 plus that tax that they taxed off your rent. Then it's gonna be your water, sewer and trash. And it just depends on what place you live in. So far, most of the places I know we looked at, that was like the deal. They gave you your base rent, your taxes on the rent, and then they gave you your water, sewer, and trash, and they said it'll show up on your account or something like online. To pay online is how you would basically see it. Um, that was what I've learned so far. And then um, next is the lifestyle. Um, wait, before I jump into lifestyle, also, I learned that with, co with living in Arizona, it's better to rent a house. I learned that from actually a coworker and then my aunt who used to live out here as well. Um, it's better to rent from a person, like a private owner and rent a house and stuff like, especially depending on what you're looking into. Um, lifestyle, I learned that the lifestyle here is a little bit slow paced. California, coming from California, it's more like fast paced, you know, like pretty much everyone's like on trend. Everyone's like getting the latest things. I feel like people are more like laid back here, which is, which is nice because at least you don't feel like, oh my gosh, like everyone's gonna like, you can literally wear the same thing and people probably would not even notice. I'm not saying I do that, but I'm just saying like, that's how like laid back and chill it is out here. It's no like, I mean, so far, mind you, I've only lived here four months so far, so I can't really speak for my person who's like from here and a person that's like, you know, lived here longer than me, get it? I can't really, I can only speak for 
a California perspective. <laughs> um, yeah, I notice things about like groceries, like when we go grocery shopping, get our essentials. Of course, you know, we gotta get our um, essentials. Mm. That's wine. Um, get our essentials such as like groceries. I noticed that sometimes the prices for produce are a little bit cheaper than they would be in California. Um, I noticed some of the liquor like um, is cheaper too, like certain things you buy. Like I literally, most of the time we buy our liquor at the grocery store. Opposed to like back in Cali, I noticed that we would sometimes go to BevMo, like opt out and go to BevMo to get certain things because of the price or we would like literally look for like a basically a deal. So yeah, that's nice. No CRB, it's like, that is, that's awesome. Um, especially if you're just buying one thing. Have you ever like been in California if, and you just buy like, you pick up a water bottle that's like $1.99 and then it ends up being like $3 by the end of the done paid with it. So you're like, gosh, I could've just gotten the $3 thing. Like, yeah, CRB is no joke. Let me get into this topic. We're six minutes in. I'm gonna be brief about it. Okay, so I know a lot of people are gonna wanna know about dating. I know I'm pretty sure when people are asking me, how you like here in the summer? I'm pretty sure like Loki would ask me that. <laughs> um, basically dating in here, I have not dated much. I'm gonna be honest with you. I dealt with like a coworker for a little bit. Um, I wouldn't say, I'm not gonna get too much detail, but I would just say the guys here are, uh, they're a little iffy, I would say. Um, I hear around that, even a guy told me, like one of my coworkers, he told me all the guys here are like F boys, and I'm like, mm. So, I mean, that was just like, I don't know if he meant specifically in the whole state, or if he meant just at the job, but then again, I saw on TikTok, like people saying like all the guys here like just you think you remember you're in Arizona like they're just no good here I don't know I'm I'm not going to it's only been four months and I know that it's not just I know that other people from other states are coming here so I could possibly meet someone who's not even from Arizona who knows <laughs> so I'm not gonna like completely like just be like bash it so I mean so far I didn't have a great experience um, with a person. Yeah, um, would I recommend it? Um, it depends what you're doing. If you're coming here for the right reasons, like coming here to like find a job or like basically um, you're coming here to find a job, you're coming here to like build your coin and stack up, I would definitely recommend Arizona for that. But if you're here just trying to date, <laughs> I wouldn't come here for that. I've definitely come here for work because they, um, prior to me coming here, I saw a lot of YouTubers and they said the work force is really good out here. I mean, yes, it's closed down right now, but honestly, I've been here seeing a lot of now hiring signs everywhere I go. They're hiring at the grocery stores, they're hiring at, um, like I believe our mail box we go to um it was somewhere else i saw that they were hiring i can't remember off the top but they are always looking my job i work out they're, they're always hiring so the work if you want to come here to literally work and find a job say like you're in california and it's a little competitive out there i know for sure and you want to find work definitely this is the place for it so i would definitely recommend it for that um, don't come here for the wrong reasons. I came here obviously to work, get better, like better, have a better life um, because it is expensive to live in California. So definitely come for the right reasons. Okay, and then the last thing I'm gonna touch on is probably people wanna know, like do you plan on staying in Arizona? Like do you plan on making it your permanent home? Me personally, um, I don't see myself staying here permanently I don't see myself being here like 11 years like I was like in Riverside um, I can see myself maybe living here maybe one two more years maybe at the most and probably going to maybe Texas or going to Georgia I don't know I'm just talking um, 
you know, I can always change my mind. You know, I can end up staying and I'd probably be here for 15 years. Who knows? So like, that's just me saying it out loud. It just honestly depends on my work and like, you know, whether I move up or like if, or if I find something in my field, it just depends on probably that. I'm not gonna base it off of like the guys, you know, cause they're not relevant at this point. It's mostly about my work and my career, like how things, if opportunities, if I'm able to find more opportunities and stuff, or if I end up feeling like if I can make opportunities somewhere else, then I will move based off of that. So yeah, that is all I have to say about Arizona so far and my experience living here. Hopefully you all like this video. Hopefully I answered a few of your questions. If I didn't answer or touch on anything that you may have a burning question, leave it in the comments below. My Instagram is always down below as well in the description box. So if you wanna DM me, go ahead and do that. Leave your comments down below in there. Do not message me on Snapchat because I do not reply on that. I reply on Instagram a little bit better. Um, so yeah. Be sure to get a hold of me if you do have more questions and I will be able to answer those for you. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now and I will, like I said, I'm gonna leave the uh, apartment tours in the cards above so you can see more in depth of probably what I was talking about on the cost of living. And yeah, I will see y'all on the next one. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all. Toots to my sunshine squad. Yep.